Hey, thanks for coming back. This is a Freshwater Fishing Novice YouTube channel. My name is Moles. It's Freshwater Fishing Friday, guys. Today we're going to talk about catching rock bass and the three lures you should be using to catch them. Let's talk about three lures you can catch rock bass with. Stay tuned, guys. Oh, he's so, so, oh, so spiky. Right in the mud. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh man. Another smooth release. Well, thanks for coming back. Today we're going to talk about rock bass, AKA rock perch, red eye, or Google eye. So, the rock perch is native to freshwater. The rock bass, this red eye fish, is part of the sunfish family. You can tell these guys from other sunfish species, six spines on the anal fin. Other sunfish only have three spines on their anal fin. Where are the rock bass located? They're located in the St. Lawrence River, the Great Lakes, the upper and middle Mississippi River Basin. They're from Quebec to Saskatchewan, down to Missouri and Arkansas, and south to the Savannah River, basically around the eastern U.S., from New York to Kentucky, from Tennessee to northern Alabama, also central Georgia and Florida. Rock bass have also been found in Texas in the Nueces River. Let's talk about what a rock bass looks like. Rock bass are similar in appearance to smallmouth bass, but they're much smaller. On average, rock bass live six to 10 years. Typically, you won't catch a rock bass over a pound. Let's talk about where rock bass live. Rock bass like clear, rocky, and vegetated stream pools and lake margins. When I say margins, I just mean the shoreline up close. So the reason that rock bass are sweet to catch, they are not intimidated by human presence. So they hang out in swimming areas. They hide under people's docks, I'm assuming from the shade, you know, they ambush just like a bass. And of course, rocky shorelines. You want to know what a rock bass eats? Rock bass eat their own young. Rock bass eat yellow perch. Rock bass eat minnows. Rock bass eat insects. Rock bass eat crustaceans. So when's the best time to fish for rock bass? Adult rock bass feed heavily, particularly early in the morning and the early evening. Hopefully those are some helpful tips about where these rock bass live and what to eat. If you're on the west coast, Lo Siento, no rock bass for you, my friend. But if you're on the eastern side of the US, you can probably catch a rock bass. Let's take a look at the three lures you can use to catch rock bass real quick. I got some footage from the water. I went out. The first lure I used was that white trout worm from Bass Pro Shops. It's two and a half inches long, but a wacky rigged it on a size 10 hook. Teeny little bait holder hook. Tossed it out, jiggled a bit, let it do nothing. Let's go see how I catch rock bass. All right, freshwater fishing novices. It's coming back this Friday. This is the freshwater fishing YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you guys on a white worm ultralight rods and six pound line. So again, I'll get in the water, close the bale. And I'm just tapping it every once in a while. Probably more frequently than I should. Rock, rock bass are angry. And probably right underneath the dock when I am. Yep. Right there. Got my drag. Oh, it's a good size one. I get the hook out. Remember these? Hemostats. There we go. This is a good size rock bass. Let's get those red eyes on. Ooh, that's a good shot right there. 
be spiky, you gotta watch out for these spikes on the bottom too. Anyway, back to the dips. All right, so you just watched me catch them on the uh, wacky worm with a two and a half inch trout worm on an ultralight rod with six pound monofilament. Now I'm gonna show you how I catch them on a rooster tail, one quarter ounce white inline spinner. So let's take a look at this. Now we're gonna test out rooster tail spinner bait. There we go. There we go. Second cast. This is a rock of bass. Rock of bass. Yeah. Oh, almost got me on the inline spinner. Gotta watch out for those treble hooks. That's how I caught the rock bass on a uh, rooster tail inline spinner. Now, let's take a look at the uh, Berkeley Atomic Tube. A little more. Ooh. I'm just gonna drop it down right in front of me. And I got one on that. So I didn't do anything except for drop that down. So that is the Berkeley Atomic Tube. Catches rock bass. All right, so those are the three lures I use to catch rock bass. They never seem to fail. One slows down, I'll switch to the other. One's a very active retrieve. The two other are way more mellow. You're doing very little until you see one, the lure disappear, Two, you feel pressure, like tugging, like that's all it is. If you're on the eastern side of the U.S., I hope that helped you out, guys. Let's go get some rock bass. Well, I hope you learned something this week. My name is Moles. This is the Freshwater Fishing Novice YouTube channel. It's Freshwater Fishing Novice Friday. If you learned anything from this video and you think someone might be able to benefit and learn something from these videos. Why don't you go ahead and like and share? Help your buddy out. Come on. If you liked this video and you thought it was slightly amusing, entertaining, possibly educational, and you want to learn more about fishing, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Showing you how to fish. If you have a suggestion for a future video, put it in the comment below. Thanks for watching. It's been Freshwater Fishing Novice Friday. My name is Moles. This is the Freshwater Fishing Novice YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this week. Hope you guys have a good weekend. I'll see you next Friday.